fuck. Well, I actually do cuss a little. Do you? Also, What's yeah. Your your TikTok? Suck your mum, you <laughs> Oh my god. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm making so many TikToks. Um, but as you can see, it's the first podcast outdoors of the year. <laughs> I've been delayed so much because I've been doing other things, creative things that you will see soon that I'll tell you much more about when I can. But I haven't been just lazing around all day. Um, but yeah, the sun is up. Guys, that's all I can say. Like, it's not up every day, but it is today. Well, it is, but like, sometimes it's cloudy. Or well, most days it is in England, but today we have sun. And yeah, I, it's my favourite time of year. Like, sun's out, gun's out, and they've got the shades on, you know. Feeling good. Like, everything feels better. But yeah, guys, it is Friday, and it's about 2 pm. The most, I don't know, the most chill time of the day before the rush hour. Before the schools start closing and everyone's sprinting to get their kids. Oh my baby can't get the bus. Oh. Like, you know, make your kids walk. Forget. Forget, you know. Just turn up in your big Range Rover to pick up your one child. Your one spoiled child. No. I'm not judging. Um, it's not easy being a parent. I, I don't know where to start. Um, but yeah, I've been doing a few other creative things with some other talented people that um, I'll, I'll tell you much more about soon. Um, and yeah, um, things have been better. People in my household have had COVID. They're over it now, they're all better. I didn't catch it. It was, it was a bit nerve wracking, but you know, like I said in the past, like I'm really not scared of COVID. I've been through it worse um, in the last few years. So, and in my life, so. I think I'm just tougher in that sense. Not saying I'm indestructible, obviously not. Mentally or physically. Um, yeah. Like, a lot has gone on. Still at Padre Football, we're struggling to find form. But I'm positive, I'm hoping we're getting there. I feel like we're making some improvements and uh, though results have been difficult, good results have been difficult to come by. We are a team and that's it. It's not like an individual sport. Like tennis, like tennis if you're playing bad, like who do you blame? Yourself completely. Or your coach. But like a team sport is so much better than individual well, because well, think about it, when you win, you win as a team, when you lose you lose as a team. When you're individual you win and lose on your own. That's the problem and I'm just so happy for the sport of parachute football. Um, it's thriving all around the world. And I was just talking to, uh, you know, teammates of mine, and like, we're amazed how far it's come um, over the years. People new into the sport, and people who've been here a fair, fair while or too long. No, they've never been in the sport too long. But um, it's amazing to see the younger generation of players, their different style, um, more technical for sure. Um, in, in the old days it was just plough through everyone with your chair and hope it goes in. Now it's so technical. Um, those of you who see me play or seen the vlogs about Padre football, um, yeah. So that's exciting times. And apart from that I'd say like Things are going alright. Um, let's not talk about war because there's enough of that going around. Like, I know it's on everyone's mind and all that and the refugees and stuff. But yeah, I'm trying not to overthink about it because I've got enough problems in my own life. Even if I say it's going well, like, there's always day to day things that go on. But when I'm making content, I'm enjoying life. I haven't made as many videos because I've been making other content for other platforms or people if you like. But I've enjoyed that too and 
you know, talking is like therapy. I don't have any form of therapy, but I do have my videos. And that feeling, like when you make a video, you upload it or contribute whatever it is you're doing to in the world or society or whatever. When you've done that, it's just a relief. But in a good way, like, wow, I've done something. Um, some sort of legacy here, you know. Because some people, their idea of legacy is like, have kids, let them remember you, that kind of thing. And family, yeah, family is important. But my legacy is YouTube, really. I like to think, like, dare I bring a kid into this world? Would you, I mean, imagine if I had a kid, like, I'd have to do a family channel. Wouldn't be bad, I mean, would they be good looking? That is the question. They could be or could turn out completely messed up, like me, but uh, no, they could end up looking like my brother, oh god, or acting like him even worse. Um, but yeah, sorry for the uh, surrounding noise. There is a wind chime in the garden, you can probably hear. And some, someone's chopping wood in the background. Literally, not chopping wood, like, you've got a chainsaw or something. Chopping wood means something else. <laughs> God, I've got a dirty mind, I'm sorry. The weather's getting to me, I've got sunstroke, I'm sure. Um, and it's a plane. A lot of planes flying over. So yeah guys, I mean, both batteries died, so completely forgot what I was saying. But while I was waiting and charging the batteries, I made some more TikToks. I'm addicted to TikTok now. Um, and there's nothing you can do. There's nothing I can do. I mean, that was like something everyone was addicted to in lockdown, if not something similar. Sun's still out. It's nice and warm. Loving life. You know, um, gonna be doing more outdoor vlogs for sure. And I'm kind of scared to talk because this battery will probably die. Um, so I just thought, you know what, order a new one. Order a spare one. Well, I've got two, but I need a third one. You don't know how many GoPro batteries I've got. Like, I've lost count. Like wherever I go I find a new one. Like around the house. It's jokes. But yeah, that's the life of a creative person. Creative genius. Creative mind. What not about not about genius, but certainly creative. And or I'll try to be. And I enjoy the editing not as much as the making the videos. But I do enjoy the editing. Um, some people pay other people to edit for them when they get to a big enough level. Um, but that detaches you from the audience in some ways. Unless you have someone that really knows you, really knows your way of thinking and your comedy and banter. But when you edit yourself, it's just an imprint of you. Because you, you know you. If that makes any sense. I don't know. Does it? All I know is the wind just shut the door of that cupboard or shed or whatever you call it. It's not a cupboard. It's a shed. Yeah, that was spooky. But yeah. Honestly, I, I, had, I thought I'd have more to say. And you can hear another plane flying over. It's so much more entertaining in the garden. We are hoping to get a summer in Italy at some point. Uh, I'll vlog that when it happens, as and when. I've, been, I've caught up with some uh, relatives lately. A cousin of mine came over from Italy. Um, met her fiance, which is interesting. I love meeting new people, like, it's like going to a new place, it's, it's good, a different outlook on life, you see how other people view the world, I guess, um, some, yeah, I'd say, maybe it's nerve-wracking sometimes, 
you, you want to make the best impression, but probably more for them, coming to meet someone's family. Like, that's the thing when you're returning, you bring home uh, a, a partner or a girlfriend or a boyfriend or whatever, and the family goes nuts, and they either scare off that person or welcome them with open arms. One or the other. Um, if you are Italian, I guess you're used to it. So you know what to expect. If you're marrying into an Italian family, you're in for a surprise. Um, you're definitely going to gain some weight because there'll be loads of women trying to feed you. Um, <laughs> it's a problem having so many aunties. They'll want to feed you. Then you get fat and then, well, you don't fit in the wedding suit. Or, you know. Well, I don't have that problem, really. I'm not. I don't. Know, I'm not a big eater. Um, no, it's not like I consciously eat less. It's just me. Like some people eat loads and just don't gain any weight anyway. But everyone is who, who they are. You are who you want. Everyone is who they are. Like I, I don't judge. You know who cares each to their own but I do like unhealthy food at times McDonald's don't hurt every now and then not always but you know everything within reason in moderation you know it's fun to try drugs but don't make it a habit it's fun to drink but don't make it a habit but I'm so glad Ferrari are winning again Formula 1 is back um, that's the only thing we can cheer about uh, because in football terms Italy failed to qualify for another World Cup like I didn't want to make this whole video about that because why but yeah we failed again yet another World Cup won't be in it's been too so yeah as I was saying before the camera went off again Italy failed to qualify yet again for a World Cup and we, we you know we've beaten England in between that in the Euros final. But we've missed two World Cups now. Like, what is going on? Bit of a jinx, but like, top, top players. It's a disappointment, bit of a disgrace because you're champions. What kind of message are they trying to send? And the whole of England's just laughing at me now, which is fun, because I was laughing at them a few months ago. Um, a br brilliant final. Same players, like, has it gone to their heads? Because after you win something amazing, it can happen that you take a dip. But to dip this low, lose 1 0 to Macedonia, um, a team that will be playing Portugal, that should have been us. Would we have beaten Portugal? Uh, we'd have certainly gone for it and probably done better than we did against this team. Because we must have underestimated them. Uh, it's obvious. The, the amount of chances, like put them away, got to be ruthless, got to be. I've been in games of Padre football where we've not been ruthless and we've lost the game as a result. Don't be falling in that trap. But they did. And nobody here has got any sympathy um, because, you know, everyone's England fans. What kind of, I'm outnumbered. But I will say this. England got beaten in the Euros final by the same team that lost to Macedonia and couldn't qualify for a World Cup. But at least England are there. So in the World Cup I will be supporting England. Because I live here and Italy are not in it. Um, just typical. Like before, like twice in my lifetime. But when I was younger I never ever thought they'd miss a World Cup been in every, pretty much every World Cup. Definitely qualified for it anyway. Yeah, we've gone out early in competitions recently, but not recently, but like in previous World Cups. We'll either win it or do bad. But watch, we'll, we'll, we won't be in, the, in this World Cup, but then the next Euros will go and win it again. Then we'll fail to qualify again for the following World Cup. But now I'm so disappointed. But it's like, it's football. I love football, football is my life. Not, well, 
so I'm disappointed, but like, I can't let that ruin my life. Like, it's not me personally, but it hurts. It's not nice. Especially when we're like a team we expect to be there. But oh yeah, Italy will make it, yeah. England love qualify well. Um, and in the last few tournaments, they love play well. They love to play well. Like, they have played amazing football, England. Credit to that. And the goal in the final is, was pretty amazing. It wasn't enough, but I still huge respect for England and the way they're going. And I've been saying it since 2018. They really deserve to win something. And I'm not saying they're going to win the World Cup. Um, but I'll be supporting them. So yeah, we'll see. See how that goes. It's going to be a Winter World Cup in Qatar. Um, because of the weather, I think. But yeah. It is what it is. Like, at least Ferrari are winning, like I said. Tottenham are doing okay. Well, Tottenham are Tottenham, so... I'll say that now, next week. Be a different story. But, you know, the future is yet to come. Why, why, why did I say that? Obviously the future is yet to come. Because the future wouldn't have been already, it would have been the past. Anyway. Yeah. That's it. A sour note to end. But I'm still out here smiling. That's it, you got a smile. Though your heart is breaking. <laughs> God. I wouldn't say it's been the podcast. It's been a chat, really. I might just make it a chat, not a podcast. Just upload it as a video, but... What's the difference? It is a video. Make of it what you will. Podcast. Whatever. Vlog. Whatever. I don't know what it is. But I'm here. You guys have joined me. Thank you. If you have done so. If I made a difference, I appreciate you for listening. Um, someone's shouting. It's a geezer. It's a geezer having a chat. I'm eavesdropping. But yeah, whatever this has been, thanks for joining me. I hope I've helped you in some way. You're either laughing at me because of Italy, or laughing because of something else. Or just me being weird. But yeah, guys, it stopped again, the camera. Just as I'm trying to end. I want to thank you guys for joining me yet again on this video or podcast. Um, you know, stay up, stay humble. Keep living life. Um, be careful, you know. Don't go licking and posts. You don't want COVID. <laughs> but that is it for me. Take it easy, fam. Peace. I am sad and so long.